Xbox and Bethesda just took a massive L and we need to talk about it. As I'm sure you all know, last night Redfall finally released and a lot of people were very excited for it since Arkane Studios has a pretty decent track record, but the game is not doing too hot at all. After charging a ridiculous £70 slash $70 for the game, it has released with countless bugs, glitches, frame drops, visual problems, NPC, AI issues and so much more on top of that, with people claiming that the game has no story, lacks exploration, and it is the quote Fallout 76 of Arcane Studios, which honestly I agree with. Now this is a huge problem not only for Bethesda but for Xbox slash Microsoft as a whole. It was bad enough when they confirmed that Redfall would only launch at 30 FPS on Xbox consoles, which is embarrassing to say the least when they market Xbox as the most powerful console but then launch their own exclusives in a state like this. It just makes the whole situation 10 times worse. Redfall is currently in an awful technical state, it is said to have an empty open world, lacks originality and creativity, and again just so much more, and like I said this is a massive kick to Bethesda, Arcane and Xbox. And look, I think that we can all pretty much agree that Xbox is really lacking in good exclusives. Yeah, Hi-Fi Rush was great, but what else? Redfall and Starfield were supposed to be the biggest Xbox exclusives and one of them is being dubbed hot garbage by most players, reviewers and critics. And I've had many people ask me if I think Starfield will fall to the same unfortunate fate, and my answer is I honestly don't know anymore. Now Xbox has shown time and time again that they're okay with releasing broken, clearly unfinished games that can't even run at 60fps on current gen consoles. And I can't lie, yes, it makes me worry for Starfield a little bit. If Xbox are comfortable pushing out Redfall when it's clearly mediocre and unfinished, then why would Starfield get any better treatment from Microsoft? Yes, Starfield is more hyped, it's more talked about, and definitely will sell better, but that's besides the point. Xbox seem to be so concerned about having big exclusives that they're rushing them out and not caring if the game is unfinished, broken, or even just having minor problems. And honestly, I'll know I get hate for this, but I'm past caring. I love Xbox, and you all know I love Bethesda, they're my favourite video game developing company. But if Xbox is going to keep pumping out crap, then I think that it is time that they get comfortable sitting in third place in sales behind Nintendo and Sony. And I'm sorry, but that's the reality of it. Yes, Xbox needs more exclusives. They don't really have any that are as praised as Nintendo's or Sony's exclusives. So I understand that they want to get these games out to try and compete, but what good is it if you're pumping out hot shit? Now I really want to show off this poll created by Jez on Twitter, for those of you who are unaware, Jez is a very reliable insider. Basically he put up a poll on Twitter and asked, hey, would you rather games basically didn't get delayed and then be decent, or have constant delays but the game ends up being amazing, and almost everyone voted for delays, and honestly, I think Microsoft and every video game company needs to take a hard look at things like this and actually listen to the feedback. Now going back to Starfield, since that is what my channel was mostly focused around, all of you know I am desperate to get my hands on this game, like, no word of a lie, I have dreams of playing Starfield. I became a content creator just so I would have more time to play Starfield, and I am literally counting down the days every day until release, but even me, someone who is overly excited for Starfield, still thinks, yeah, if this game ain't gonna work on release, delay, delay delay. I don't care if I have to wait until 2025. Do not release Starfield in a broken state. Please. Starfield has the potential to be the biggest Xbox exclusive ever, but I promise you, if Starfield launches with this amount of negativity like Redfall has, Xbox is going to feel that. And Game Pass or not, people are not going to bother trying it out if it launches with this amount of negativity. People will lose faith in The Elder Scrolls 6, Fallout 5 and so much more. I really cannot stress enough how much of an L this is and how important it is that Starfield delivers. Now honestly comparing Redfall and Starfield, I don't think that we need to worry in that aspect. Both games are two completely different studios, Bethesda is just the publisher. Redfall was created by Arkane and Starfield has been created by BGS aka Bethesda Game Studios. So yes, same publisher but two completely different companies basically. Of course this does make Bethesda as a whole look bad since it's all under the same banner so to speak, and of course like I said earlier Xbox is still a concern here, but besides Xbox clearly being happy with releasing unfinished, broken and quite frankly mediocre games, 
I'm not sure if we have to worry about Starfield here. Look, that's pretty much my thoughts. Shorter video than usual, I do apologise for that, but this is my second video of the day, so thank you for coming back to the channel for a second time. If you did, your support is appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, I kindly ask that you leave it a like and consider subscribing if you are new. I cover a cluster of Bethesda content over here and we would love to have you join us. And as always, a big massive thank you to our channel members, you guys mean the world to me. But with all of that said and done, thank you all so much for watching and I really hope to see you next time.